Welcome to Motor Car. This is the 2022 GLE 350 formatic SUV, a 255 horsepower, 2 liter inline 4 turbo luxury SUV, rivals the BMW X5 and the Audi Q7. In today's video, we're looking at the magnificent SUV interior, exterior, and going for a drive. MG Line exterior package has these diamond block grills right here, horizontal bar, night package as well. Makes this apron very magnificent. LED light package, two eyebrows on those lights, and adaptive high beam assist. On the hood, power domes as well. It has the MG five spoke rims. Let's take a look at these sizes here 225 R2050. So these are 20 inch rims, and it has a side running board right here. The rear tires, very stylish as well. 20 inch rims, wool arches in the same color as the car. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Turn on the ambient lights. I'm turning off the ambient light. Wow, it is so quick. These two liter inline fours are perfect. But 255 horsepower is a bit, isn't quite enough for this GLE, in my opinion.
Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? I'm hot. I'm setting the temperature on the driver's side to minimum. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Set ambient light to red. Okay, I'm changing the color. It has seat kinetics, by the way, for the driver comfort, as well as your passenger, which means as I turn around corners, I receive support through these side bolsters on the seats. Very comfortable seats here. Macchiato beige, perforated seats, natural ash grain wood trim at the very top here. Upper dash is full leather. And it's a fantastic drive experience. through the dynamic select options you can actually step down from sport to comfort which means it dials down on the performance you derive from the car and it's a more soft relaxed drive experience suspension is very soft very fluid as compared to the sport mode which has a tougher suspension and this jelly has two sun visors it's a mercedes of course at the very front it has head-up display that lets you keep your eyes straight on the road without too much distraction from other traffic and uh, i am receiving some feedback from the uh, seat kinetics I did receive thigh support you can extend that through this button right here from the drivers as well as passenger side which means it's memory seating one two three heated as well as cooled seats okay speaker system is actually very nice as well naturally because of copyright I cannot play music inside the car YouTube watches out for that real quick not as quick as a GLE 450 in case you guys are wondering that's one of the top questions I receive whether you should get a GLE 350 or a 450 I think with an additional 10 actually 15,000 you should get you should get a GLE 450 simply because the engine output from a GLE 450 is 362 horsepower which is about 111 more than this one or about a hundred more horsepower but for daily driving grocery runs going to the movies road trips you will not go wrong with the GLE 350 the comfort and luxury as well as the premium materials inside this cabin are worth getting this car and another cool feature in terms of climate control systems press on this menu button here and I have a visual display of the temperature as well as fan speeds and other things like that the air flowing through here is quite enough it has auto mode you can set it to max cool if you prefer for maximum cooling 
Uh, it's been very hot today, so it does feel very nice. And just lower the temperature right here or turn it off just like that. Press the menu button to engage the MB Wax. And you have seen a ton of videos on the MBUX infotainment system, which is the Mercedes flagship infotainment system. I have other videos talking about this in more detail. I'll drop some links in the description. All in all, it's a great car. Navigation. It has 3D display. You can set the map orientation to 3D maps and in case you're wondering there is no delay in the maps all in all it's a great car so $90,000 if you want to get a brand new GLE 350 alright guys that's a look at the 2022 GLE 350 formatic SUV